Before we start, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. The Queen has been sent a chilling warning over a key position that Harry still holds as William prepares to step up. The Prince of Wales and Duke of Cambridge will open Parliament on the Queen's behalf in a historic shift which will see Charles read the Queen's speech. The monarch pulled out of the occasion, nearly sixty years after she last missed it, following advice from her royal doctors. But one expert has warned this development highlights the need for Harry and Andrew to be removed as councillors of state. Royal journalist Richard Eden said, this emphasizes the urgency of Prince Andrew and Prince Harry being stripped of their roles as two of the Queen's four councillors of state. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry facing lifelong battle after abandoning the Queen's tactic. The libel lawsuit submitted by Prince Harry against the Mail on Sunday claimed an article about police protection caused upset and distress and it could become a lifelong battle for him. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are being advised to prepare for a lifelong battle after going public with legal battles, according to an expert. The Duke of Sussex is taking legal action against the Mail on Sunday after the publication allegedly made a misrepresentation of the facts regarding Harry's offer to pay for the protection himself, according to a court filing. Legal representatives for Harry say in paperwork that the Mail on Sunday's article made the accusation that the Duke lied in his initial public statements. The court filing added, as a result of, the Mail's, conduct pleaded above, Prince Harry, has suffered increased upset and distress and injury to his feelings. His legal team also argue that the Mail refused to take down the article from their website and did not make it as subject of a legal claim or even publish an apology. Harry is now seeking damages for libel against the Mail on Sunday Publishers Associated Newspapers Limited, ANL, at the High Court in London, but also wants an injunction to prevent the claims from being repeated. And it is this kind of public legal battle, something his grandmother the Queen has often shied away from, that could land him in trouble. Expert Amber Meville Brown, who is the global head of media and reputation at With Us Worldwide, told Newsweek. Meghan and Harry are engaged in what will inevitably be a lifelong battle with the British tabloids, they will not be strangers to scrutiny, criticism and at times serious accusations, and if they complain, explain and bring suit each time scrutiny and serious accusations are sent their way, they will find themselves very busy. For the royal family, the beauty of the never complain, never explain philosophy is consistency. It's a mantra for all seasons, a response for all eventualities, making unequivocally clear in the face of damaging accusations, gossip or rumor that no explanation or engagement will be forthcoming. By departing from that strategy Prince Harry has put himself in the position where he has to, or at least feels he has to complain about accusations and explain himself, where otherwise silence and a shrug of the regal shoulders would have been offered. The Duchess won her lawsuit against Associate Newspaper earlier this year, and was awarded just one pound in damages. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks.